Hello to my Aquarius. Aquarius, you will have a bonus video going up on the um, bonus, yeah, on the bonus side, on the membership side, which was really long, okay? So it's going up over on that side. <laughs> it was almost, I think it was about an hour. I think the video was about an hour. I know it was over 45 minutes, but anyway, it's going up on the membership side. Super long video. Let's get into this one. Let's get into this one. Let's get into this one. So, this video is for the 22nd through the 29th of September. September. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what's in your cards. 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 In your cards. Don't forget to set your intentions every single day. Aquarius, don't forget to set your intentions. Don't forget to set your intentions every day. It's very important to do that. Set your intentions. Set the tone for your day. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So, Page of Pentacles. Somebody's going to feel like they have a whole new lease on life after people have been paying, playing some kind of mind games. But your head and heart won't be at war with each other anymore. All right. Here we go. Page of Pentacles. That's right. Page of Pentacles. Five of Swords, Eight of Cups. I gotta make some room. I feel like I have. I need some more room here. Eight of Cups, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, and Ace of Swords. What is the motive? What is the reason? Mm -mm -mm. Boy, oh boy, I tell you. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, Aquarius, I tell you. Let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what's in your cards, Aquarius. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description. Information is down below in the description, Aquarius. It's in the description. In the description. Alright. Um, a new financial opportunity is coming across your, um, coming across, like new beginnings in relation to finances is coming across your, um, Coming across your path. Like somebody's going to feel like they have a whole new lease on life, right? And you get an opportunity, a fresh start, like new beginning, right? Like kind of moving on from, you know, people playing mind games. You know, people playing all these mind games, whoever it is. Um, um, Page of Pentacles connects us with Taurus and Virgo. Um, and so something could have been connected to Venus and Mercury. Mercury is the communication and messenger planet. Um, and Venus is the planet of love, pleasure, art, music, aesthetics. So something could have been trying to disrupt your peace in some kind of way as it relates to loved ones. Um, and so source is just saying to you, I feel like somebody's going to feel like they just have, like I said, you feel like you have, you know, new opportunities, you know, just to your new, your material world, like a new job or new project, beginning of like a new course of education, something, you know, coming into some money coming across your path. Um, it's just kind of like um, tell, giving you an opportunity to see, to seize an opportunity, like something is coming across your path to learn something new or something new is happening, right? So this right here is about motive, like this, uh, uh, what's the reason? Like what, what's the reason? It's something that you prayed for. So you might pray to create something new for themselves. You know, it's just like, you know, you rather fill your brains up with something else, as especially as thinkers. You all are incredibly smart signs, so you rather fill your mind up with something besides people playing mind games with you. And so that's where you, that's the path that you're on. That's, that's the path that you're on. Somebody feels like, you know, here we have your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. You've moved on from any feelings of just like, uh, see how this person, you know, your head and heart may have been a little fuzzy 
or like if you look at this pic this card on this picture it looks like it's a little blurred here but you may have left like a blue heart or some kind of disappointment behind yeah your head and heart are no longer at war with each other you probably toss some things into a burning bowl the fact that we're in a waning gibbous moon phase that's a time to banish release any kind of hexes um, spells, dark magic, all those things. It's time to toss all those things into a burning bowl so that you can close out this cycle. Just finish out this cycle, right? Because this is what somebody is getting to. You know, sacred relationships. More sacred relationships. Somebody also could have love in their lives coming across their path too. You can also have love coming across your path too. So this is good, right? You also have love coming across your path. You work really hard on something. So that's the that's the energy that you're in. You're in the energy of just working hard and just um, you know, um, not allowing yourselves to overwhelm yourselves. I feel like um, somebody is learning how to just with your fire and your water. That's Knight of Cups energy. Just kind of like the element of fire and water. Somebody is really just in a romantic space, idealism. You know, following your heart. Um, more confident in your space, um, um, feeling a lot more positive. So somebody could be about to be swept off their feet if that's what you want, you know, if that's what you want, right? But somebody is done kind of with the mind games. So whoever was playing mind games with you, all the periods, you're just really done with that. Just like, you just, you're just over it. You're over it. So, yeah, I, I definitely feel like somebody tossed something into a burning bowl and decided to just move on. You're just done with all of that. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. So, congratulations to whoever decided they want a, you know, new love interest. You just left whatever whatever was kind of like a, a poisonous um, environment behind, you know, just like you just took your water, your emotions, just somewhere. Like I said, your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. Remember, as long as we're in the um, Gibbous Moon phase, you can still do. Those of you those of you all who are into that, y'all know what I'm saying. Like, if you're into that, like, burning bowl ceremonies, those kind of things, banishing, releasing, hexes, and dark magic, and spells, and all that kind of stuff. If you're into that, this is the time. Waning Moon is the time to do it. So, yeah. People send all kinds. They use all kinds of spell work. You know, to do all kinds of stuff to people, saying all the same dark stuff over and over and over again. You're just like, okay, what what is the purpose? That's what you're saying. Like, what is the reason? What what is the what's the purpose? What is the reason? Right? So you don't even have to ask anymore. But somebody, that's when you're at the ace of swords. You're at the beginning. You're just saying, move on from that. Six of cups. Here we have the six of cups here. So somebody's um, this could be a, um, a Scorpio somewhere, possibly in your family that you're just kind of sort of having some memories of in your family that you could be just kind of sort of somebody in your family that you may have looked up to. So you could be having some moments of nostalgia where you kind of sort of looking up just like uh, remembering some good memories from like back in the day. So if there's anybody in your family that you felt like was very creative, you know, in your family, um, that could be somebody that you miss, you know, like that could be somebody like as you're moving on, you know, that could be like somebody that you miss, you know, um, um, like when you, when you think about just leaving energies behind, you know, when you think about just kind of sort of moving on, that may be somebody that you just carry with you, you know, like you carry loved ones in your heart with you. Just like when you start thinking about loved ones, you start thinking about just like fun times with certain people, you know, or somebody could be missing you. Somebody could be missing you. Or lamenting or something over you to some degree. Yeah. You know what I'm getting here in your cards though, Aquarius, is that there was some level of betrayal. That's what I'm looking at here in the cards. Like somebody was playing all kinds of mind games. There was some kind of betrayal here. We don't, need, we don't really need to get into that. Here we have the King of Swords. We don't need to get into that because I feel like now you're on your throne. You're, you're just, like I said, you're on your throne. You're very smart. Um, you know, when people try to play these little emotional mind games and stuff, you just, like I said, you just move on. 
you know, just moving on, right? So this is where, like I said before, you're very fair-minded. You know, you're um, um, very logical in your thinking, adaptable, person of integrity. As we talk about the king of um, swords here, um, critical thinker, you know, able to make your decisions based on facts, not necessarily feelings. You just, like I said, somebody's going, when you go back in your mind and you start thinking about like mind games with, you know, people, certain people you play, that's where your head, that's why your head and heart emotionally are not at war with each other and you're moving forward. So yeah, that's how you're going, you're going to be able to close out this cycle. That's what this, uh, this, um, full moon in Pisces is about is learning how to believe in yourself, like what you believe about what you're leaving behind like believe in yourself and also believe in your your intuition what is your intuition telling you about who and what you're believing in leaving behind this right here it wasn't a whole lot of growth in certain things here we have the nine of wands here something you believed something you were starting to believe in is some energies that you left behind certain kind of things that you were starting to believe like you know um and some things that you were leaving behind. Yeah. Something that you left behind, you know, made you more resilient, made you more um, courageous, um, made you kind of sort of persevere, made you start creating boundaries. Um, something really tested your uh, um, resilience. You were, you learned how to learn how to persist in the face of adversity. Um, you were able to push yourself a lot further, you know, Aquarius, we were talking about the nine of wands. Yeah, that's where you were. You just, you know, you move, you push through, you know, you moved on just like with your, your, um, and it, when you go to go back to something that was a whole, it wasn't a whole lot of growth in something. That's why I say your head and heart are not at war with each other. So when you look back at just like wherever you left behind, and it wasn't a whole lot of growth. It could have been like some judging, competing, comparing. Like the fire wasn't used properly. You didn't feel a whole lot of encouragement or whatever. So that's why somebody feels like they have a whole new lease of life starting there. Here we have the King of Wands here. Yep, King of Wands here. So here we go on the throne again. Here we have King of Wands, King of Swords, right? So, yeah. So you just, you've been a natural born leader. You're a natural born leader. You know, you have a clear vision. Something about um, somebody had a male Aries in their lives, and the person has transitioned, just so we're crystal clear. So it could have been somebody's grandfather, somebody's father, some male figure you had in your lives, Aquarius, that had Aries somewhere. You could be, or, or it had Aries somewhere in their birth chart. So whoever you can think of, it could have been their sun sign, moon, or whatever. Something you inherited from them, Aquarius. You inherited your leadership abilities from them right so this is where now that you're on your throne it's like more structure your uh, structure and just kind of sort of your authoritative kind of way of being remember aries is ruled by the tower card so this is where you're saying okay you're getting a total recall of what you left behind that's what this is here and so as you're continuing to plan for your future like what do you want for your future now that somebody feels like they have a whole new lease on life right and just being confident in your abilities and just being confident in yourself. Right? Here we have high priest. You have an innate spiritual understanding, you know, of um, some things. Right? You see a lot of fire there. Yeah. Yeah. So... Somebody could have a lot of fire around them, like um, a lot of the kind of fiery spirits around them. Somebody that you know could have a lot of fiery spirits around them that's keeping them kind of stuck. And so when you have an innate spiritual understanding of that, whoever it is, could have be keeping some energy stuck. Like I said before, you can pray for people, but you can continue moving forward. All right, let's see what else we got. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, what else we got in your cards? We're going to get ready to wrap this up. 
because we are not gonna make this an hour <laughs> not making this a one hour video like the other video we're gonna put that on the other side Aquarius we're gonna put that on the other side for those of you all who want to see a long 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 video we'll put that on the other side because that was, was pretty long there's a lot of cards out here I was like oh my god didn't mean for that video to be that long Woo. all right so yeah so when you're around energies that's around um like a, a, like a lot of materialism you know um and with all of this water here for you it can be draining for you um as a humanitarian um who is really no respectable person so um here we have a sun card so i definitely feel like somebody feels successful you feel um when you, whenever you see the sun card come out sun card is like joyful successful you're not necessarily awaiting for any kind of success. You know, that would be in reverse. And so you're leaving some things behind. Yeah. So the sun illuminates the moon. We know that, right? So that here. So we had a full moon in Pisces, right? So, yeah. So we had the Empress card, right? So you know that it, it, things can even either limit limit your abundance and prosperity or it can grow your abundance and prosperity so you have to make a decision as to what you're going to move on from somebody has moved on from something that could have limited your abundance and your prosperity right just left some things behind that could limit could have limited your abundance and the prosperity and it's a particular belief system that you left behind you know right so all right here we have the queen of cups and i do see you being um very compassionate towards anybody who is just like this kind of sort of in the material world there's definitely this the other side of that is a spiritual world you know having access to the unknown you know having access to the unknown your feelings your emotions those kind of things everything can't just be about you don't believe it unless you see it everybody everything can't just be that you know, you have to believe in something, believe in your dreams, you know, and I, I kind of spoke about that a little bit on the, um, on the other side of the video, right? On the other video, like when people say things like, um, I think a lot of people are starting to see in social media now, like, you know, people who want, was, you know, believed in their dreams at some point, it's like, okay, they, they say, okay, I have a dream. I believe in my dreams. I just need some people to help me to make my dreams come true. And some of those people made those dreams a, a living nightmare which we're all starting to see on social media now and unfortunately you really just make your stomach turn just hearing a lot of stories unfold and so that's what's going to help a lot of people extend more grace to people when people say oh that person's a one-hit wonder they couldn't make it it doesn't it does not even whatever you're trying to create whether you're writing a book screenplay a musician whatever it is I think it's going to cause people to now extend people more grace in whatever it is you're trying to create because you don't really know when you look at this right here you don't know what's behind the mask these two um this card right here this moon card and you see this dark um this like this dark figure under the water here you don't know for this right here this moon card means um illusions but it also means delusions right you know, it also means unconscious. It almost so means the unknown. You don't know. A lot of people don't know what goes on behind what's, you know, behind the mask, right? A lot of people don't know what goes on behind what behind closed doors. A lot of people don't know what goes on. A lot of stuff is revealed. A lot of things are coming into the light. See, the sunlight. A lot of things are coming into the light. And so you absolutely need the... Um, that's why I emphasize so much with the, um, you know, knowing what your moon sign is, because it's just as important as your sun sign. That's why I talk about it so much. And when people say, oh, they couldn't cut it, they couldn't make it in this industry, they couldn't make it in that industry, you don't really know what. I think I think now people are going to start sending, extending people grace, more grace, you know, instead of judging, you know, harshly judging people. Um 
Yeah, so that's what I'm seeing, you know, in your cards. Um, and so, yeah, so somebody is definitely leaving, you know, kind of sort of, but some people, like I said before, are just kind of sort of stuck in a particular way of thinking and they, they surround themselves with those type of people who just kind of have them stuck in that, they, they have that same feeling. They have that same feeling. So the Queen of Cups connects us with uh, Pisces and Cancer. And so Pisces is the I believe sign. They're stuck in a particular belief system and Cancer is the I feel sign. So they not only have the same belief, but they also have that same feeling that they don't believe something until they feel it, until, you know, there's this burn, like this blowtorch, you know, and, and, you know, this burn effect, right? So, um, so it also connects with, you know, the reverse of the queen of, uh, queen of cups is like emotional instability and codependency and insecurity and spiritually disconnected. So, is like certain energies have to be connect, you know, spiritually disconnected. And so that's where the compassion comes from. Your intuition, your calm, your emotional stability, your psychic abilities, and your empathy comes from. That's where all of that comes from. When you're, but your head and heart are not at war with each other. And that's why you're continuing to move forward. So that's where, for you, that's where this new lease on life is for you. That's where you're starting out. You're not playing the mind games. You're actually moving through a rite of passage, traveling light. And everything is fine. You don't have to operate in fear. Everything is fine. So, you know, this person is looking on the cell phone right there. You know, you want to limit your cell phone time too because that right there is a portal. That is a portal. Cell phone is a portal. It's a portal. Let's pull these last cards out. We're going to close it out. Yeah, so. All right, we see anything else, any last messages, source, any last messages for my Aquarius, any last messages for my Aquarius. So yeah, your abundance is growing. 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 So yeah, anybody Aquarius, that anything that you've tried to create in the past and people assume that you failed at something because like I said, um, um, something came to light whatever it was whether you try to create whatever um create a family and something you know I, I, i'm not trying to trigger anybody like kids or whatever something or you know marriage or whatever you know it's, we just we just live in a cruel society um, an actress just made a comment about like, uh, you know, people who don't have kids and just kind of like stood up for people who don't have kids, which I'm glad she did because, you know, people make all kinds of wild assumptions about that kind of stuff. It's like, who, who is out here thinking of this kind of cruel stuff to say to people? Like, do they just sit at home just like, you know, on evil time? Like what, what are they doing? But some people do. They just wake up just mean-spirited. So, But whatever it is you were trying to create and people are sitting somewhere competing, comparing, you know, saying that you failed at whatever it is you tried to create because water connects us with creativity or you couldn't make it somewhere or you didn't do this, including your own family. So it's just like, listen, when things come to light for you and if it doesn't, if it, if it like I said, could... Um, cause you some kind of emotional instability Aquarius and it could affect other people around you sources saying it's not worth it it really is not worth it protect yourselves it is I see you being more um, more conservative with your time I see you being more conservative with your time yep I see you being more conservative with your time yeah so somebody could be at an impasse right now when it comes to some things, but um, you're not new to people talking about you behind your back. That's not something that's new, but you survived a lot of things, and now it's time for you to thrive. And that's where that's the frequency that you're on. That's the frequency that you're on. But I see you definitely limiting your time talking to certain people, and I see you being victorious. Yep, this is a six of wands here. Definitely see you being victorious with this. Yeah, you don't you don't have to like I said. Um, I'm 
continue explaining yourself to things. It's not your responsibility. This is the Four of Wands. Yeah, you know, the, this is, um like I said, you don't have to carry that burden on your shoulder. Six and four, obviously, is ten. I see you being booked and busy, not burden at all. Your third eye is open. Yeah, not your responsibility. Somebody has new love coming across their path. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm seeing hope, bliss, and optimism for you. Yeah, there you are. There you are, Aquarius. Star, 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 star. There it is. The sun is a star, right? So, yeah. Third eye is wide open as the sun right there again. So, yeah. Yeah. So, everybody has a star sign. Everybody has a sun sign. That's what that is, right? So, yeah. So when I look at your cards here, you know, everybody's third eye is opening because of people. People are, like I said, sometimes you got to give things some time. Social media sometimes will do things for you. It'll speak for you. You don't have to, you don't have to, um, you know, have some long drawn out conversation with whomever, right? I see you rebuilding. So here's the ten of wands here. Yep. Yep. Ten of wands here for somebody. I see you building Aquarius. Lots of duties and responsibilities there. The main thing is, I'm seeing somebody, it's just like I said, you know, um, um, seeing things from a higher frequency, just feeling, you know, really feeling, I won't say lucky, feeling very fortunate, right? I feel like somebody has a guardian angel. You have a guard, you and somebody have a guardian angel on the other side, and that's what it is. It's like you and somebody have a guardian angel on the other side, possibly a Sagittarius on the other side, somebody on the other, on the other side. Um, helping you to achieve your goals, you know, and um, you just have a, you know, a little further to go until, you know, you can kind of sort of release whatever weight you've been carrying. And so you're not, you know, um, taking on any new obligations while you're like, you know, while you're building, you're just not taking on any new obligations while you're building. That's why you're not, like I said, you're not so, like I said, you and somebody coming together. Somebody's back in the saddle again. You know, you're you're just motivated by different things. You're not taking on any new responsibilities to whatever right now. So, yeah. And, yeah, your total transformation. Total transformation. That's our Pluto, by the way. Here we have the Six of Swords there. Yep. Yep. Six of Swords. Yeah. This, like I said, traveling light. You know, you're not trying to carry any other, um, you're not carrying any other, carrying any other weight on you. You know, you're not carrying any other, anybody other, other weight. You're not carrying their, um, their, you know, their emotional baggage. They're, you know, resisting to change their unfinished business. You know, you're not carrying anybody's emotional baggage. You're not carrying that right there. So you're moving on, and like I said, you're releasing baggage. You're leaving things behind. Um, you're moving on. You're transitioning. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. All right, here we go. So we did shorten this significantly. So the other one will be on the other side. We'll be on the membership side of Aquarius. So yeah, so definitely be more conservative with your time. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So yeah, when some people, like I said, when people won't change, Aquarius, when you're trying to leave things behind and you are, I said, like I said, building and you're not taking on anything new right now that's going to stress you in any way, shape, or fashion, you're not anybody's light and shining armor in any way, shape, or fashion, you're not doing that. So here we have, you have the gift of clear cognizance. That is uh, psychic knowledge about other people. Should you double back for them? I think you've done a uh, sacral chakra cleanse. It's time for you to move in silence and move in peace. But step through your portal. Get focused. Trust your first mind. It's time to heal your wounded self. Somebody hasn't been completely honest with you, so continue doing your mirror work, right? Um, let's see. Um, yeah. Yeah, continue doing your mirror work. And so, like I said, it's time to open your vault door. At what age did your parents, because somebody's an overgiver, at what age did your parents do 
uh, work on their shadow self and at what age did you work on your shadow self and so take a leap of faith close out the cycle in love um, message from your ancestors the um, angel Gabrielle is with you and so check your request list again it's helping to schedule a vacation and so uh, pray and meditate you are who they prayed for somebody really misses you and so um, she whoever she is apologizes for betraying you whoever she is um, and so dance around your home as if no one is watching um, and so you are protected in love somebody's ex wants to return um, you have the gift of precognition and so and so you inspire some people to heal your inner child is very proud of you but speak some things into existence but some people somebody's in a crisis and um, they're incubus spirit and so somebody never stopped loving you but you have the gift of clear sentience and you pick up on others vibrations their emotions their moods their feelings I see you being booked and busy and not burdened and bitter by anything. Like I said, you're an overgiver, but you're not taking on anything new right now. No new responsibilities for anything right now. Somebody's just like, you know, going through transition, traveling light. And I feel like you, you've given, you've overgiven a lot of things, you know, in the past. Um, maybe to a point of burnout, you know, in the past. Um... And it just wasn't a whole lot of growth there. Maybe not even, may, I feel like somebody could have even been burned or not even appreciated. So, don't know what that's about, Aquarius, but you are definitely praying for people. Let's see what your number is. Let's close it out. Let's see what your number is and let's close it out. Let's see what it is. Yeah, you. Yeah, I feel like somebody could have felt judged, you know, like in the past. Like, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. 999, I am unique. So, Thank the past for your lesson and leave it where it belongs so that you can make um, the best of life that is still being, uh, still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. Yeah, 999. Nine, nine. So three things, uh, three nines, three things have ended permanently. So your psychic abilities have increased and so has your clairvoyance. So you, what you didn't know before, you now know, right? And um, yeah, what you didn't know, now you know. So look at the bigger picture. Yeah, so look at the bigger picture. What else do we have? I think that's it. I think that's it. Got the number. Um, what other oracle cards? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got tons of oracle cards. Hold on. Um, make sure we got everything so we can close it out, Aquarius. Work each day. I work towards the appropriate, appropriate task to push the needle forward. I am surrounded by peers who support encourage and inspire me to get to the next level yeah so somebody is definitely replacing a lot of um you know thoughts that could have you know very painful thoughts um that you um possibly could have just tossed into a burning bowl you know as you're just moving through a rite of passage and just um yeah this nine lets me know that you sent some spell work back Somebody sent some spell work back. Three situations you sent back. Or tied to three things. Three types of things. So that could have been a whole group of stuff. But it was like three types of something you sent back. I trust the timing of my life. All right. And what else? What else? What else, Aquarius? Whew. All right, worthiness. So that's your prayer for people is that everybody knows their worth. That's what it is. You're praying for people's worthiness, that they know their worth, right? Know their worth. The confidence of source inside of them, which a lot of people will mistake confidence for, um, you know, arrogance. But it's like you know you need source, right? You know you need source. I think I mentioned that in your previous reading, Aquarius. But drop your comments below. This is your, your, your reading. Drop your comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I'll see you all in the next reading. All right. That's what I have for you. Bye.